Welcome to the Journal of Graduate Medical Education Spotlight on Authors. I am Dr. Peter Carrick, Associate Editor of the Journal of Graduate Medical Education and Professor and Chair in the Department of Community Health and Family Medicine at the University of Florida College of Medicine. The goal of this journal feature is to bring to our readers some of the background story as well as practical implications of a recent journal article. I will be interviewing Dr. Tracy J. Kaler, who is Assistant Director of Research at Grand Rapids Medical Education Partners. She will talk about her study, Physician Retention in the Same State as Residency Training, experience from a single Michigan-based GME institution, we will be, which will be published in the October 2016 issue of the Journal of Graduate Medical Education. Welcome, Tracy. First question, what made you want to study the topic of physician retention? There are limited data available in the literature that address in-state retention rates of GME graduates, particularly relating to a single GME sponsoring institution. Therefore, we decided to determine the overall in-state retention rate of graduates from our GME programs. With that said, what are the implications you think of your findings for program directors? Program directors should be aware of the physician workforce needs of their community and state. If retention is a value, recognizing the characteristics of candidates who are more likely to practice in the state post-GME training may be used as part of the criteria to rank candidates. What do you think the impact of the results will be on trainees? As the residency applicant pool grows, program directors may inquire more about an applicant's practice plans after GME training. As trainees prepare for interviews, they may want to focus on the responses to these types of questions. Also, applying to programs in a state in which they have educational ties may give them an added advantage if retention is important to that particular program. Finally, what are the implications of your findings for states experiencing a shortage of primary care physicians? If physician shortage is a concern, primary care programs may want to focus their recruitment efforts on students from in-state medical schools, colleges, or even high schools to potentially increase retention rates. Loan repayment programs, early acceptance programs, or community outreach into schools for health careers presentations may be ways to enhance the homegrown physician workforce. Well, Tracy, we appreciate you taking the time to answer our questions, and we will look forward to the publication of your article in next month's journal.